So this is what we're going to make. And it's going to be another of those Tesla generators, so I'm going to put coils on here and then use this as a prototype to get some amp draw off it. But I thought I'd go through how to make it. And it's made from these things. And you use the case, as you can see, the case has been used to surround it, and the DVDs in there. And we're going to do a step-by-step -step showing so you after doing that video on the Tesla generators that I was looking at, I got a load of people writing to me saying that they couldn't um, see a decent tutorial on how to make one step by step and they planned on buying kits or buying ready-made versions. So I thought what I'd do is I'd make a tutorial on how to make one of these things step by step. Now none of it uses um, strange or odd materials. You're going to have to order a few things and wait for them to come in but none of it's really obscure, none of it's really strained, it's all really easy to get hold of and most of the tools are hand tools. Now obviously I've got pillar drills and lathes that I'm going to use but you don't need to. You can adapt your drill to do some of the jobs and I'll talk about that when we come to doing the jobs. Now some of the things you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is a load of these things. These are DVD readable writable discs and there's 25 of them in a pack and you want to get yourself a pack because not only are these useful this is going to be useful later on too. And the basics of the Tesla is made out of this. Now, normally what you do is drill a central hole, drill a load of exit holes, and um, bung the whole thing together in some way that can be a bit challenging. But I've come up with a way of doing it rather easily, where we use a back plate, which is a drive plate. So we need to make the drive plate, but we attach all of these to, with nothing more than screws and washers. And these washers, and I bought a thousand M4s for about three pounds, are going to be both the spaces and the locators for these discs when we build them up. But all we're going to do is cut a back plate, drill out these discs, and bolt it all together to make the disc pack so that we can make this size one. This size one I made exactly the same way, only instead I used LP records. So whatever's available to you really, and we're going the to The first thing we're going to make is the things. actual drive plate. We're going to make it out of a bit of this stuff. It's four millimeter um, acrylic from the local D South store, and it's usually for um, greenhouses. But it's great for what we want it for, so we're going to make a four cent uh, no, sorry, a hundred uh, millimeter disc that's going to be the drive disc. So once you've drilled it out and cleaned it up, that's what it looks like. So the next thing to do is to mark it out. Now the easiest way to mark it out is draw up a template. I just did this in Word and I've done um, 12 lines, so I've got a choice between 6 and 12. On a small one like this, you really only need six. So it's on the template so and you can see I've got an inner circle and outer circle where I'm going to make my marks. This one's for a bigger one, so just ignore it. I've lined it up to the centre, I've got myself a pen, and I want about six. Now we've made our disc, we need to transfer those marks onto our discs. We need about 20 of them because I'm making them about 2 inches or 50 millimetres thick. And the easiest thing to do is just line it up by eye, mark it and then drill it. And that then becomes your template for all the other discs. So in order to drill all the other discs we just Put that on top, put it back on the spindle, and drill all the way through one of them. Put that screw through, it'll register everything else. So here it is drilled out and finished. Now I've drilled out the edge bits here because I'm going to put some bolts and spaces in there to make what's called a phoenix design. It's what Tesla was talking about um, when he talked about these little rings on the outside that it would catch the air better and exhaust it through this port here. And this is my exhaust port. I've drilled that exhaust port out with this because this is going to ride on the backing plate, and the backing plate is going to be the bit that spins. So before we put the whole thing together, we need to do a little bit more to the backing plate. So drill the backing plate out, countersunk this so that you can take these and bolt everything together and have a nice flat surface. But if we try to put an axle in there, it's going to be pretty wobbly. So what we need to do is build that up a bit. So to do that, I'm going to cut, use this, cut out some of 
These, so I'm going to cut out about five disc shapes because that's four millimetres thick, five disc shapes is going to be two centimetres and then I'm going to have like a two centimetre block here that I'm going to glue on with uh, cyan acrylic glue and that's stronger than the plastic so it's going to make a big block there that I'll then drill out and I can put my bearings into that and then I can put my axle through my bearings. So instead of going through one point it goes through a spread point and it'll make it that much more stable and that will then act as the drive plate for that. So I'm going to make some of these discs, trim them down, glue them together and drill the whole thing out. is put an axle through that. So that's the most complicated bit of any Tesla generator. You've got to remember that we're actually making a um, generator rather than a turbine. So there's the magnets fixed in the back of the drive plate. And I've cut two plates already to act as a support for this. So this will go in the middle. Now I've got to do something else with these plates because that'll sit in the middle there. But in there I'm going to need to put my coils. So I have to drill that out. And on the other side of here it's going to need to vent because that's where our exhaust is here, just there. So I need to drill holes in here for both the um, coils and for the vent on that. And the way I do that really is to use this template that we've used before, line it up with the centre hole that I've marked and mark it off and drill it, which I'll do in a second. But you should notice that when I cut these plates, I drilled through at the same time at six millimetres so that I could put the bolts through that will space the plates and I also drilled the axle point as well that you can see there and that's going to be my reference for the exhaust and for the um, coils. And there it is all bolted together. Now, remember I'm making a generator, so there's my holes I'm going to put the ferrite rods through so they're very near those magnets, so we get a good magnetic pickup. But it's the same stuff that you do if you're making a pump or a, a turbine, exactly the same. And here I've got my exhaust holes, and I'll saw that axle off and put a little plate on there to seal it up. And it's quite nicely free spinning. The only other thing we need to do now is make a case for it, and we have this, remember, because we bought this, uh, 25 of these, we've used actually about 15. We bought this, and this fits rather nicely in there, so that's actually going to become the case. So I'll saw a section out of here, a section out of here, and slide it in, put some sealant around it, and that will be the case structure for it. And I've got this pump, remember. And I'm going to give it a go and see how it spins with the pump. There's no load on it, so it should spin pretty easily, and I'm wanting to see how it spins. <laughs> And that's from this bed bump. Remember that air movement is equivalent to having a four-inch window at walking place, is the volume of air I've just blown over that. Uh, obviously, there's no load, so it's, it's um, not quite right yet. And we want to need to put the case on the nozzles, and that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so there it is, well, it's finished. So here, I put the case around it. I cut this big slot so we can direct the air. What I need to do is put a nozzle there, but I'm not sure how big that's going to be, so I'll work that out. But there it is basically finished and that's how you go around making Tesla. Let's give that a go. 